Seventh grade TCAP practice test, question number 63, the math section. What is the inner quartile range of the data shown uh, listed below? Got that quartile thing again, so it's like quarters. So I've got my dollar bill here. One dollar. And I can break it into quarters. This midpoint, or the 50 cent spot, uh, that would be the median. So this is my 50 cent spot. What I'm looking for is the distance between one quarter or the 25 cent spot and three quarters or the 75 cent spot. So what I'm in a dollar situation, it would be the middle 50 cents. I'm looking for what the equivalent of the middle 50 cents is. So in order to do that, first I need to find the median or the 50 cent spot. In order to do that, I'm going to mark one number from each end. And remember, after I, I did this one right to left, so for the second group, I'm going to do left to right. That way I make sure I don't over mark them. And I go here. So the middle section would be 67. All I'm going to use the 67 for is to break whatever's left over into two sections. So on the left, I've got 18, 33, and 58. On the right, I've got 73, 93, and 147. So now I'm going to find the middle or the median of these numbers. On the left side, I get rid of 18 and 58, and what I'm left with is 33. On the right side, I get rid of 73, 147. What I'm left with is 93. So to find my inner quartile range, all I need to do is subtract 33 from 93. So my interquartile inter range value is 60. So when you have a quartile question, break it up into quarters. The interquartile range would be how much they really want to sort of know how much the middle 50 cents is worth. They want to know how much it is between the first quarter and the third quarter. If they want to know the median, then you just pick the 50. So whatever the value is that you need, find it. It's not really that complicated to do. Just mark some numbers out. You're ready to roll.